Heartbreak without warning as a deadly tornado sweeps through Livonia. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. The fallout killed a toddler and critically injured his mother. From Chopper 7, you can see where a giant tree crushed part of their home this afternoon. They were sleeping in a back bedroom as the tornado hit on Houghton Street. Then, over in Farmington Hills, drivers were filling up when a gas station canopy came crashing down in stormy weather. Never in my life I was scared this much. We do have Team 7 coverage of the aftermath. Let's begin tonight with 7 News Detroit reporter Brett Cast. He's in the Livonia neighborhood, blindsided by tragedy. We can still hear chainsaws and wood chippers late into the night here in this Livonia neighborhood as cleanup is still underway from that tornado that tore through here roughly seven hours ago, taking the life of a young child. Destruction that no one was expecting. The aftermath of a storm that people here on Houghton Street will never forget. It just it gives me goosebumps, you know, I hope I never have to go through this again. Susan Hill has spent hours cleaning the damage left behind. A tree was uprooted in front of her home while others landed on it. Did you hear the tree when it hit your house? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Bang and bang on the other side. Walking through her neighborhood, we saw extensive damage. Roads were blocked by trees while leaves and tree limbs scattered sidewalks and yards. We lost count of how many trees we saw uprooted, but this one was the most devastating and destructive, crashing into the bedroom of a home and landing on a mother and her two-year-old son while they slept. This is a, a, a very traumatic call. Um, you know, we have a, a lot of uh, fathers and uh, they have children that are similar ages, but. Livonia Fire Chief Robert Jennison says it took an hour for 25 firefighters to remove the massive tree and reach the victims using high pressure airbags and a dozen chainsaws. The young boy was pronounced dead on scene while the young mother was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Her two week old baby was in another room unharmed. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the friends and family uh, of the victims. Um, this was, uh, this was a, a tough day. It's heartbreaking, it's something that's hard to take, hard to swallow, and probably be many, many sleepless nights for me and I'm sure for the family themselves. As residents clean up the damage, they're mindful of the tragedy down the street, knowing that for one family, the damage from this storm will never be repaired. We can always put stuff back together. Can't get anybody's life back. She's just the sweetest person I've, I've ever met, you know, and the little boy was just so cute and I hadn't seen the baby yet, you know, so it just, I, I'm just saying prayers for her, you know. And the sirens did not go off here in Livonia. The city says they did not receive an alert from the National Weather Service, who says these storms popped up too quickly to send out a warning in time. Uh, DT is still working to restore power in this neighborhood. There is a temporary shelter at the Kirksey Recreation Center. In Livonia, I'm Brett Cast, 7 News, Detroit. Sir.